be if I click here and I do PCIe, I go to this PCIe mm -hmm. endpoint and then I would have to double click on it. Sorry, my machine seems to be a bit slow when it's sharing screens, but I have to double click on it and it's gonna and it's gonna instantiate this this IP block for me now. It's gonna take a few gonna take a few minutes. Mm -hmm. And there you go, it gives me this PCI PCI E3. So here we can very nicely see the interface to this block. So yeah, so we have the interfaces to this block, we have the AXI, we have the PCIe interface, we have the AXI streaming interfaces. The AXI master, the AXI slave streaming interfaces, the AXI master interfaces, and if I double click on it, I'll take a second or two, but you'll see I have to kind of. There's a lot of configuration data that I might want to, that I might need to do for that board, and that is the approach I would take if I was doing it from scratch. If mm -hmm. I, you know, if if I just sat down and designed a board and I put it in there, the beauty of having, I'm just going to delete that for a minute. The beauty of having a development board that's and, and the tool being board aware is I can grab the I can literally grab the PCIe Express, drag it across, tell it what I want it to do, whether it's a one or one or eight times channel, hit OK. And as it's board aware, it'll go through and it'll configure it and connect it perfectly for this board. Uh, and save me having to do any save me having to do much or too much thinking about what I want to do. I then just have to worry about integrating it with the rest of my solution. So does it mean if you design your own board based on this uh, reference board, then you can also do it in this simple way or, po or possibly use same code? You can, you can, one of the benefits of, of doing it this way is you can, you can create the design you know, you can create the design. You can then write this file out as a tickle. You know, these files write out as tickle files. Uh, you know, you can write this design out as a tickle file, and you can take that tickle file and you can rerun it on your on your custom board, and it'll spring up all nicely. You might have to change the pins. You know, the pin numbers that you've actually used on your custom board compared to the compared to the development board, but you can you can you can save you can save a lot of time and and change a lot of uh, and change a lot of frequency. So here you see it's. It's kind Much of pulled easier. it through. It's, it's connected it through, uh, and it's if I double click on this, it's added in all of the basic stuff that we mm -hmm. uh, that we might that we might want for it uh, on this on this board. So this is the PCI endpoint essentially, um, and it's got the what how we would connect it in there. So if I put in some, uh, let's think about this. If I put in the DDR4 for example, so as we've got some DDR4 on the board. Uh, we'll just have it in that mode. We'll have it in the default mode. So if I put in some DDR4 on the board, we'll create a little system here. Okay. Uh, just so as you can see how it all pulls. Yeah, okay. if, I've, if I've got if I've got DM if I've got if I've got the XDMA, you know the PCIe, and essentially what the PCIe is looking like, this PCIe, it's essentially just doing DMA transfer into some D into some DDR4 into some into some memory. So it's going to go into our DDR4 memory. Um, and here you can see we've got the. Uh, we've got the DDR4. We've got the DDR4 memory added, uh, and we could probably, at this point, we could probably begin. I'll put it. Let me put a microblade. Let me put a microblade okay. in there. Actually, that'll probably go from there to there, won't it? So we can probably take this at this point, and we can probably go from the master AXI port here. Mm -hmm. To this slave AXI port here, mm -hmm. and we can connect the two. We can connect the two together, uh, and we should see then on our address editor. I'll actually take a look uh, on the address editor. I'll just assign the addresses. So this is our this is our memory map essentially. So we've got we've just allocated two gig essentially of uh, of the DD of the of the memory map. To, um, to PCI Express interface. To the P, so, so, so the PCI Express interface as a master uh, mm. can can access it if it wants if it wants to. So writing into this place in DDR4 memory, you are basically basically writing to the PCI Express. There's the PCI, yeah, the PCIe. If you're right, if you're if you're talking to this endpoint uh, over the PCIe bus, it's it's going into and out of. At this point, it's going into and out of this DDR4 memory. Um, depending on what you've depending on what you've done, this is actually a bad example because oh, there's nothing to okay. put it. So you can't, I was put, wrong. you can't put anything in. So I was wrong. So basically, 
uh, data from PCI Express will go to these two gigabytes of the DDR. Of DDR4. Okay, I understand. Or, or, or you could, or you could put data in the DDR4 and pull it out mm -hmm. over the, okay. you know, pull it out over because it's a bi-directional link. So, so that's the shared a... memory between these two. Mm. Yeah. But that, that's a bad example, just connecting those two directly together because there's nothing to populate the DDR4 memory with apart from the, you know, apart from the DMA. Uh, so what we could do is we could do a few other things. We could add in a, let's add a microblaze in. I can't type today, but let's add a microblaze processor in there. Okay, so this is a microcontroller, yeah? So this is a microcontroller, and if I double click on it, 